Hello, beautiful people. My name is Naila, your host for The Art of Living Show. Our guest today is a former journalist. She's a high flyer. She's influential, tenacious, smart. She's an advisor for presidents and governments across Africa. She has set up offices in Uganda, Nigeria, and Kenya. She is a champion of Grasso Michelle. She recently embarked on a spiritual journey and became a pastor. I am so curious about that. Let's take a sneak peek into her beautiful home and find out more about that. She is none other than Cynthia Nyamai. She invites us to her home to have a look around and to have a conversation. I'm you. assuming this is mine. I hope you like succulent Because this plants. are my colours. Do you like succulent plants? I love succulent plants. Oh, I have okay. even some here. Yes, I can I see that. They're so beautiful. And they're so easy to just cut the bud, plant another one. Oh, so you yes. just them. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I love them. planting. I love oh, this. Is, nice. Thank you so much. And this is my colour. So that's your favourite colour? Yes. That's wonderful. I think I know where I'll place this. You know where you're Yeah, place somewhere it? in my room. I'm so happy that I'll always you like think it. about you. I'm happy that you like Thank it. Thank you. Welcome. This house kind of tells a story yes. about my life as an entrepreneur because I can tell you different things. I did a certain business yes. and then I was able to buy the seats yes. or, you know, the, the carpet. Yes. So it's, it's, a, it's a journey and it just shows, I think it expresses who Cynthia is. White for me is very peaceful. Yeah. White feels very clean. Yeah. White feels pure. Yeah. And I like when I come home to just unwind, sit on my sofa, yeah. and sometimes feel the breeze. That's yeah. why I have like large windows, feel the breeze. And I kind of feel like I'm in Mombasa all over again. It's peaceful, yeah. it's beautiful. So it's a good place to just come unwind and, 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 and unwind. How big is the house? It's uh, big enough for me. <laughs> so I like, I like, I'm an introvert. Okay. I like having my space. Okay. I love having my own space. Okay. So a lot of times I like taking up townhouses. Did you buy the house or you're renting no, the house? I'm renting it. Um, I decided to, where I bought a house is a bit far out of town. So I needed to come closer. And, uh, and then I spoke to an agent and I told him must have security has to be really good uh, and then also the floors I like wooden floors they feel very warm they're very beautiful and they go very well also with my furniture and they're always so lively and vibrant if you look at them yeah. they're even like sort of different colors yeah. so yeah and it's something and it's only having traveled in different African countries yeah. not many countries actually have wooden floors uh, a lot of homes prefer these days having tiles. From here, I can peep and see the bay bow windows. Yes. You know, that's very unique. And I, I love like, lots of lights. The lighting that yes. it brings into the house. Yeah. One of the reasons I took this house. Some of my furniture I bought in Uganda, some of it I bought in Kenya. When I moved to Uganda, I shipped them. And then recently when I moved back, I, sh I moved. It was difficult to sell and let go because each of them have a story. And then also I have a friend of mine who travels a lot. She had traveled yeah. to France. Okay. Uh, then she got me the poofs. And what about that statement piece right there, that clock? 
this clock also I got it from my friend okay. uh, and um, it shows the different like world time which helps me All right. um, a lot because sometimes I have if I have a client say in London I can quickly just see okay and I also like it because it reminds me of hotels they have this a lot in yes, hotels and I've lived in hotels yes. so much yeah. so it also just reminds me of a piece of my my life If you're the first person I've given uh, from media a tour, Thank so we can start with the guest room. Yes. This is the room right here. Beautiful. Thank wow. you. So in my guest room, I love expressing myself and giving people me when you come to my house. This room, I love it also because it has large windows yes. and you just get to enjoy the garden. Wow. And it's a peaceful room because this is also like a prayer room. My, my whole house is called Open Heaven, okay. but this is the room where I get to share with people and you can come and experience the Open Heaven here. Do you know what I love mm -hmm. about this Open Heaven? Yeah. The breathtaking view yeah. out here, yeah. it's really, really beautiful. Yeah. And this my god antique uh, side tables yeah. they are beautiful i bought it um okay. from india okay. uh, my friend again who travels she yeah. brought me this um from india okay. this is uh, from south africa okay. so again it just reminds me of my my travel right. and then this is just something that my mom gave me you can put in a candle okay. and i like candles i like having beautiful scents You're born again. I'm born again. You're a pastor. I love Jesus. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah, I started yeah. preaching in Uganda, yeah, people I saw in media, people were writing, Cynthia is now a pastor. Uh, I started Bible school in Uganda. Um, I didn't complete mm -hmm. uh, with COVID happening and so on. The classes were stopped, mm -hmm. uh, but I will complete once it's done. I just want to have more knowledge. Yeah. I think I, I, I began in Uganda. I began to see God in a completely different way. For almost one and a half years, I was homeless. And that's why for me this house means so much because okay. this house is a gift from God. Okay. And what happened in Uganda was uh, I was of course working in a powerful office in government, uh, but then my my boss then had a dis there was a disagreement okay. and they let him go. Okay. Uh, and I was working in his office and of course political office. Everyone who remains in that office is assumed not really to be part of the system so for a while there my like my house they stopped paying my, my rent uh, i hadn't also been paid uh, because i had refused to give some bribes so the landlady comes and says your people haven't paid the rent get out of the house uh, and uh, but somehow even that day i saw god because somehow my rent uh, was paid by an outsider who mm -hmm. had what was going on. Mm -hmm. It happened on a Sunday. I was yes. powerful one day. Yes. My boss was removed from office. Yes. By the next day, I was like half as powerful. Yes. Uh, but to learn that power really comes from God. Okay. To understand also that God, I understood clearly why God took me to different nations. Okay. And my assignment is for nations, uh, for African nations. And not yes. just to work in government yes. offices, but to pray for those nations. Okay. So believe it or not, that time I was homeless, okay. I spent it praying for Uganda. When you learn how to rely on God, 100%, yes. yes. you get a very good relationship with God. It's time to take a short break. More of Cynthia Nyamai and her open heaven when we get back. <laughs> 